Hello, another gun that I'm going to be listing on Gun Broker out of my collection. I'm not sure if it, uh, if, if Gun Broker is the proper venue or not, or whether it needs to go to an auction. But this is the extremely rare Craig with the Parkhurst device on it, which those of you that are familiar or Craig collectors know that the Parkhurst device was an attempt to speed up the loading of the gun, which proved successful. Unfortunately, the Springfield 1903 was being developed at the same time and made this gun obsolete before it went into full production. Uh, these guns are very, very rare and hard to find. Uh, there were 100 of the uh, Craigs that were taken off the line and converted for, uh, as rifles, and there were also 100 that were converted as carbines. So there was a total of 200, 100 rifles, 100 carbines. Uh, how many remain, nobody really knows. And then they made two, uh, 2,000 clips, which was uh, 10 per carbine, and they also made some additional uh, Parkhurst uh, devices. I'm not exactly sure how many per, per gun, but there, there, are, there were some additional ones made for parts. Anyways, uh, these guns are extremely rare and hard to find. Uh, some of the Parkhurst devices that were kept as parts were later taken by some people and put on Craig's, and they were um, basically made into a Parkhurst, uh, but they're not original. There is debate over what is original and what is not. Um, I strongly believe, and again, the, the records are sketchy, but from my research on this gun, I strongly believe that this is an original Parkhurst that was done at the factory, and I'll cover uh, the details of why I believe it's so. Uh, the gun is in beautiful shape. Uh, the wood is in very, very good condition. A uh, couple compression dents, uh, and a couple scratches. There is a uh, a good dent up here on the uh, right hand side about uh, midway between the barrel bands other than that the wood is in uh, in very good shape the metal is uh, near perfect a uh, little bit of um, of uh, lightening of the bluing the rifling on the gun is strong there's no pitting and the guns in very very good shape now a little more about uh, this particular gun uh, and why I feel that it's original is according to my research, um, you can actually see the serial numbers of the guns and when they were taken uh, off the production line and converted. And this one, the serial number is 289162. <clears throat> and it's an 1898 version. And according to my research, this gun was taken off the line in um, 1900. So go, looking at the gun, <clears throat> here's the cartouche. And there is the uh, stamp, and it says 1900. So this falls into line with the records that uh, Springfield has. So this is the original stock that was pulling off the line and the original gun that was converted uh, into the uh, Parkhurst. Also, it has the P proof mark uh, from the factory. And the other thing that's, that I believe, if you look, now when these were pulled off the line, they were hand-fitted, and you can see here that it looks like again this was um, you know some people would say well th this is somebody has done that putting a Parker's device on I believe no I believe this is the factory again they didn't these guns were converted by the factory the Parker's device was put on the rifle and another reason I believe that is because these guns were being tested for rapidity of fire they were not being tested for accuracy the Craig accuracy was already known so parts um, that were readily available were used. And if you look at this and you know about Craig's, if you look at the way the sight's put in, this is the sight that was put on the gun. It is a 1996 Craig sight. So, which makes sense because these were available. They were, in, they were producing the 1998 Craig, so they would use a 1998 Craig sight for the production guns that were going out of the factory. But for these conversions, they had the 96s kicking around, which made sense to use that rather than just waste it uh, and eventually toss it away with obsolescence. So that's another reason I believe this gun is the uh, an original Parkhurst. Also on this gun is the hard to find brass cap, which again, I also believe is original uh, with the gun. Another fantastic discovery after purchasing the gun on the back is the, uh, if I can get this open, is inside is the cleaning kit and the oiler 
and they are pristine. It looks like they've never been out of the gun. So um, in my opinion, again, that would, it makes sense that this was the factory gun. It was converted, only shot a few times, retired, and that's why the oil and the cleaning kit were not used. Uh, the gun um, has been fired, I can tell, a few times, but I, it hasn't had a lot of use. The, the, um, the barrel uh, is, uh, the bore is very clean, the rifling is very strong. Um, the other thing is this gun uh, had a, the whole idea of the Parkhurst was it was a clip fed uh, gun. Uh, the clips, as I mentioned, they only made 2,000 of them. Uh, nobody reproduces them uh, for uh, collectors that I know of anyways, because there's really no market. The, the, there's, all, there's so few of these guns out there. So to find a clip for one of these is virtually impossible. Uh, if you do, uh, you're looking at 200 plus uh, for the clip. But again, they're pretty well gone and rusted out. However, I do happen to have one uh, with this gun. The uh, clip is in pretty good shape. Could use maybe a little cleaning on the interior, but it uh, snaps into the to the gun here, if I can get it to go. And that was the uh, feed clip for the, uh, for the Parkhurst. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try listing this on, uh, on Gunbroker to see if there's any interest uh, by a Craig collector. Um, I looked up in my gun value book and uh, it basically said no, no value can be put on the gun because there's too few of them out there and they're not en enough are sold where they can actually determine uh, a true value on the gun. So I'm, putting, I'm listing it for what I feel that I wanna get out of it. And uh, if uh, I find a taker, great. I think if you buy this and add it to your collection, I think you will have an original Parkhurst and I think you'll be extremely happy with the gun. Uh, if it doesn't sell, then I'm going to send it to one of the big auction houses, probably for a premier auction um, like Rock Island, because it is such a rare gun. So again, uh, if you're a, probably a collector of Craig's, uh, you will not be disappointed in this gun, and um, happy bidding.